Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we're going to talk about Jesus, the religion destroyer. One of the biggest misconceptions of Christianity is that it's just another religion. Now, yes, it is true. It is another worldview. But as you may remember, when we began our series on the book of John, we defined religion as the what or how you can earn salvation or some desired cosmic outcome. It's all about what you can do. That's precisely why Christianity is not like any other world religion. It's not about what you can do, but what Jesus Christ did for us. It's all about God's love for His creation. The gospel writer John wanted us to be sure that we saw Jesus clearly. Jesus is the Son of God. He is God. John wrote, in John chapter 1, beginning in verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were created through Him, and apart from Him, not one thing was created that has been created. In Him was life, and that life was the light of men. That light shines in the darkness and yet the darkness did not overcome it. Jesus Christ was, is, and always will be God who came to earth to rescue sinners from the darkness. He saves people so they might have eternal life and be sure of it. And that's why He came to disrupt the religious leaders and give hope to the hopeless. Jesus is God. He came to be the religion destroyer. Listen to what John wrote in John chapter 3, beginning in verse 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through Him. Whoever believes in Him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. That's the deal. No one gets eternal life unless they believe in Jesus. It's not about your works. Just a few verses earlier, Jesus told Nicodemus that no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. The flesh produces flesh. The spirit produces spirit. In other words, even the best works by the religious elite fail to produce the spiritual results they desire. Jesus is God. <laughs> he is the religion destroyer. In reasons we will never know, God loves us so much that He would become flesh to rescue us from our sin. Religion produces more doubt and hopelessness, but Jesus offers us freedom from religion and peace with God. That is Jesus. That is why I believe. 